This Geometry Dash hacker stole thousands of levels, wiped hundreds of accounts clean, wreaked havoc upon the game, and the craziest thing is, barely anybody remembers any of it. To understand what went down in 2017, we need to go back to the creation of a secretive Geometry Dash clan called Team Hacks. Founded by the player Zim Knight, the group was formed to bring together the most skilled hackers in the game. The clan was stacked with some of the biggest brains in the GD community, and the idea was great they could work together to make mods that improve the game's quality of life. For instance, many of the hacks we take for granted today, like infinite objects, have their roots in the work that Team Hacks members did way back then. But for all the good they brought to the game, Game, they had an equally lousy impact, producing infamous tools like noclip and speed hacks, which allowed massive frauds to cheat their way up the leaderboard. After dropping the 2.1 updates, Robtop tried to patch up all the exploits and create a better anti-cheat system, but it seemed as though Team Hacks would get around the fixes as fast as he'd create them, with one member making an anti-anti-cheat, which lets you avoid the defenses Rob Top put up against hacks like Noclip. He kept fighting against them, but eventually he sort of gave up and focused on more important matters, leaving Team Hacks' mods to run free within the game. Hacks that let you jump forever, tools to instantly unlock everything, exploits to steal other people's levels? Their damage to Geometry Dash would be permanently cemented in the developer's mind, and they'd have a shaky relationship ever since. Despite the edgy hacker persona that Team Hack showed off to the world, they genuinely tried to do some good for the game, with them constantly reaching out to Robtop regarding server security. But from their accounts, Robtop's responses were flaky and uninterested, and though they often offered to help him, he would refuse, probably because of how they rubbed him the wrong way in the past. However, this would prove to be a disastrous move in the coming months. Now before we talk about the biggest hacker attack this game has ever seen, we need to talk about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. It's a free to play game where you build a collection of champions and create powerful teams to take on tough yet rewarding challenges. Challenges like the Hydra. This strong boss has many heads to chop down, each with their own unique abilities. For instance, the Head of Suffering, that'll share some of the damage you inflict upon it with you. Or the Head of Wrath, that'll give itself the scary vengeance buff after you hit it 15 times, which will triple its attack power until the end of the next turn. What I really love about this game is that it's simple to play and there's tons of new content every month, like the legendary Sun Wukong champion. Log in 7 times between now and the 23rd, and you can unlock this guy to give you an edge on the battlefield. If you haven't tried the game yet, now's a great time to start, because by joining using my link or my QR code, you can get yourself a ton of goodies to begin your raid journey, like the epic champion Drake. So what are you waiting for? Hop in, use my link or my QR code to get the game and have some fun. Now back to discussing the biggest hacking attacks in GD history. Another programmer outside of Team Hacks, Anaban, took the community's attention as he began hacking the game however he pleased. Back in November of 2016, he used an exploit to get his way into other people's accounts. It involved requesting a password reset on the target profile, snatching the reset information from the server which weren't very protected back then, we'll talk more on that later, and creating a new password with that information to log right into the account. With this, he could enter many famous players' profiles like Viprins, Eric Van Wildermans, and Michigans, and in them, he'd mess around, changing usernames, posting statuses, updating levels, whatever he wanted. He even got into Robtop's account and deleted one of his oldest levels. However, not after long, his reign of Terror would come to an abrupt end as Robtop patched the exploit that he used to get into people's profiles. Still, in one last big stunt, he snuck into the account of the player Riot and updated the level Bloodbath to write his final message to Robtop and Geometry Dash players all over the world. It said that you should subscribe to Fresh Water on YouTube and hit the like button. 
Did it work? Ah, worth the shot. The message said that hacking the game was fun, but he was done doing it. Never give up on your dreams and goodbye. And with that, Anaban was gone. Now, what if I told you that this attack didn't do a fraction of the damage the next one did? That something tremendously worse would arise after a scandal within the ranks of Team Hacks. You know, Robtop did manage to stop Anaban dead in his tracks and patch up the exploits he used used, but he didn't do much work fixing up server security beyond that. The game was still very vulnerable, setting the scene for a much worse raid that would almost kill Geometry Dash. February 27th, 2017 was a completely normal day for GD. The new 2.1 update came out just last month, and people were still having fun trying out all the new features like the spider, the rotate trigger, and of course, the new level. But on Geometry Dash Twitch, this mysterious new user named the Haxor27 was doing a live stream of the game. This wasn't any standard GD live stream of someone playing levels or building maps. No, no, no. He was streaming himself hacking other people's accounts. Something very strange to find on Twitch. It was as if the new update left the game's servers even more vulnerable because it seemed like he was making his way into people's profiles easily, like he had a magic key to everyone's accounts or something. And the funny thing is, the strange user was taking requests from viewers for who he should hack next. Many cheered on the hacks for 27, seeing him as a lighthearted internet troll. Others felt uneasy about this weird guy and pleaded for him to stop. But he just kept going, breaking into many top players' accounts, even leaking their secret projects for the world to see, until BAM, Twitch took down the livestream. He was gone as soon as he came. However, the assault on the game would continue, as whoever this hacker was took a massive list of unregistered green guest accounts and fed all their data, all their levels, all their everything into one enormous profile called Team Hacks. Hundreds of registered yellow accounts would continue being compromised, with their stats wiped and their levels stolen by the mysterious Team Hacks profile. When the attack happened, many thought that Team Hacks member Pizza Roots was behind the Hacks or 27 account, as just the day before, he went live and hacked into an old profile that he used to own. The fact that the hacker's name in-game was literally Team Hacks did not help, but he went on to the GD forums to clear things up. This was not his or Team Hacks is doing, but rather a former rogue member of the group. So the story goes, a new clanmate was present when dangerous exploits were being looked into. The techie stuff is pretty complicated, but to simplify it for you, the Team Hacks member Kvolten basically found a way to take the stats and data of one account and put it into another, as long as you knew the password of the target profile, which wasn't really hard to find. Passwords were literally stored unencrypted and unprotected on the Geometry Dash server. One Team Hacks member described how it only took 30 seconds to crack a password. 29 of the 30 spent waiting for Geometry Dash's slow ass servers. This was a group of teenagers, by the way, making a complete mockery of Robtop's coding skills. Kvolten messed around with the merge method on his private server, but the rogue member took it into the actual GD servers to steal levels and stats and well, you know the rest. And what about the exploit that instantly combined all those green guest accounts into the big Team Hacks profile? Well, that was done using a similar method and carried out by a Discord bot ridiculous. When I asked former Team Hacks members who was behind the Hacks or 27 Twitch accounts, they either didn't know or danced around the question. Some names have been thrown around over the years, but there's a lot of secrecy around this scandal. Whoever did it was promptly kicked from the group after using the exploits in game, though the damage had already been done. By the end of it all, the Team Hacks profile had sucked in everything from a 
vast list of green guest accounts. And in the process, this completely wiped them out of existence and they haven't been recovered to this day. That's why right now you can see so many old levels created by unnamed users, especially in those ancient map packs, because the original uploader's account was literally obliterated in this attack. And after targeting the yellow accounts of specific creators, the hacker ended up with 9,000 stolen maps. Heck, the daily level was taken too, putting the name Team Hacks in the face of the entire community. They even got into Robtop's main accounts and leaked secret beta versions of Fingerdash. With the attack hitting closer to home, Robtop finally shut down the servers after fighting against the hacker for days. He patched up the exploits and started restoring players' profiles. Big famous ones first like Michigans and Viprins. A move that pissed off the Korean creator group TMN2. Their profile was compromised in the attack and their username had been changed to hacked by Aurorus. He was a Geometry Dash player back in the day and maybe he requested the hacks for 27 to change their username. We don't know for sure. But anyway, the team hoped that their accounts would be among the first to have their data restored. After all, they were pretty well known for their high quality levels. But it took way longer than expected and their account was only fixed after Robtop was given an enormous list of hacked profiles by Viprin. What really angered them was that Robtop had raided the level Manix by Carmel in the meantime. A very controversial map because the gameplay was entirely invisible and nearly unplayable. The needs of more famous players like Carmel seemed more important to Robtop in their eyes. So after their account got hacked, Team N2 posted a fiery message announcing that they've quit the game. We are not famous enough so Rob doesn't give sh** to us. So here's what we want to say. Rob Top should not just listen to Vibrant and Michigan and stop sucking the more famous guys as like a bitch. Their unfinished level, Master Spark, was abandoned and they haven't made a map since. Not all the damage could be repaired. The passwords for many accounts were stolen and thrown around all over the internet by the hacker during the scandal. And because of that, popular old profiles like Neptunes are probably owned by impersonators. One player named Redulock stumbled upon a vast list of stolen usernames and passwords on Twitter. And on it, he saw a timeline reels profile that's the guy who made the lightning road a very popular easy demon seeing this redulock just took it better he have it than some random hacker right this same exact thing has probably happened to hundreds of other old accounts the extent of the scandal's damage is enormous while it would be easy to pin the entire event on team hacks as it was their exploits and their rogue member who attacked the servers rob top does have some blame to share. After all, it was his hilariously vulnerable servers that allowed the attack to happen. If Team Hacks hadn't found the exploits, someone else sure as hell would've. Even after Team Hacks gave advice and offered help to fix up the servers, Robtop was reluctant to act and rejected their support. In his eyes, Team Hacks was a group of kids with nothing better to do. Since the attack, server security has significantly improved. However, we must stay vigilance for potential hackers as we enter update 2.2. Like really, you now know what happened after the last update. Who knows what kind of exploits are just waiting to be abused. Don't forget to use my link to download Raid Sauter Legends and get tons of cool stuff. But anyway, I thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.